Hey guys, what is up? Max Kyder here. Welcome back to the video, guys. So today I'm gonna do a platform discussion video. Now I rarely do these types of videos on my channel. I usually do it on another channel called the Battlefront Network, which you should definitely check out, guys. Uh, it's it's a great uh, it's a great channel. It's a channel full of great Battlefront YouTubers. So yeah, make sure to check it out, guys. So anyway, we are going to talk about some revolution events ideas that I have for the upcoming game. So yeah, first we're gonna start off with revolution. So if you don't know what Levolution is, it's currently a feature uh, on the Frostbite 3 engine, which is the engine that Balf the Battlefield 4 is running on, made by DICE, of course. So it's a feature uh, where basically maybe uh, like a part of the map or a, a large object in the map gets destroyed or, or, or kind of transforms, actually. And it creates a whole new area, guys. Sometimes it could be like, for example, it could be on, uh, on, uh, on the Siege of Shanghai map, where there's a skyscraper, uh, which has uh, six pillars uh, that is supporting that skyscraper and you can destroy those pillars and that building uh, the skyscraper will soon collapse and to the ground and there will be like tons of debris lots of lots of dust everywhere and it just basically creates a pile of giant pile of debris everywhere in the middle of the map so yeah that's the example so yeah so today i'm gonna talk some revolution ideas that i have so yeah uh, anyway Number one, and that is the Death Star Explosion event. So we all know what happened in episode 6, right? Where the Rebels finally destroyed the, um, the, um, the Death Star, the second Death Star. And, but I, I always wondered, where, all, where did all the debris, where did all the explosion went into? I mean, Death, the Death Star was fairly close to Endor, I mean. And I can bet my money that some of the debris went to Endor. So yeah, here's how it works. So... Just like the movies, the rebels need to destroy the shield generator first, and everything of course. And after that, the rebels need to uh, set a squad that, that will destroy the Death Star from the inside, of course. And when that's done, the Death Star will explode, of course. Now, when that happens, like all the debris will basically rain into Endor, like, we, like it will create so so much chaos there, like maybe uh, uh, like uh, some trees will eventually fall off and. It will create a giant crater in the middle of the map, guys. And when 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 that happens, you're gonna have to take cover uh, from all that debris raining from the Death Star. So yeah, number two uh, is the CIS cruiser crashing to Coruscant. Now we remember the scene uh, back in Episode Three where Obi Wan and Anakin was uh, was saving Chancellor Palpatine, uh, and when that happened, uh, the CIS cruiser was badly damaged, and they have to basically land it on Coruscant. And that landing was, was not a smooth landing, of course. So yeah, uh, this will be similar with the Levolution event in Parasol Storm, where it's basically uh, where a where a giant ship just crashes into into shore, where and then uh, some tree uh, it will basically uh, put a giant ship in the middle of the map, and you can kind of enter the, sh the, the ship inside, and you can have a battle inside that ship. So yeah, that's the idea when the cruiser crashes into Coruscant, and it will the cra uh, the cruiser will kind of enter the Jedi Temple actually, so it will destroy a part of the Jedi Temple and basically half of the battle will take place there. So yeah, that's that's number three. Number two, sorry. Anyway, and now number three, that's the Mustafar Malaba mal Malfunction event. So yeah, we know we, we all know the Mustafar map, right, where uh, it's, it's, a planet, it's a planet full of lava, there's tons of fire and lava everywhere, it's very dangerous. So yeah, we all remember the fight between Obi-Wan and Anakin, right? Where Anakin uh, accidentally uh, destroys the lava control panel with his lightsaber and everything basically just, go into, just goes into chaos uh, where the lava basically overfloods the, 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 the lower levels and some uh, basically the lava got uncontrollable and just you know, the whole planet went chaos. Now that's the idea, of course, the way to set this, uh, the way to turn on this evolution event is of course destroying the the lava control panel maybe there will be like several control panels so it won't be that easy to to, to turn on the event so yeah that's the idea and when that happens like the whole planet goes to chaos like maybe the lower levels of the map will be flooded with lava and of course some platforms will fall some like uh some of um construction buildings maybe in, in the you know the one that big uh the big giant pole thing i forgot what it looks what what's called uh what it looks what it looks like so yeah you know there's a giant maybe giant giant objects will fall into lava and like i said maybe 
some of the places will be flooded with lava and just imagine that whole chaos like and then like i said it's like the end or evolution event when that happens you need to take cover because after that it will be, it will be raining lava of course uh you know small drips of, of lava raining and that will do quite a lot to your health so yeah you're gonna have to take cover when that happens so yeah guys, that's basically it guys, those are my ideas for Revolution, for the upcoming Battlefront game being developed by DICE. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you do, make sure to give this video a like, and of course, subscribe to the channel for more Battlefront content guys. Anyway, this is Max Hydra, signing off, check out the other two videos on screen you haven't seen it yet, and may the force be you guys. Peace.